and I mean this, I would have ended up as a reform school dropout, and that may be where Jamal is headed. So I suggest that you take him in hand, and the sooner the better. I will talk to Jamal. We will talk to Jamal just as soon as we can, and he will be disciplined as we see fit. We apologize to you about the proxies, and we will have Jamal come over and apologize. Oh, no, 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 please, please. I've done my good deed, okay? Just, please, just keep him away from me, okay? No problem. Okay. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot of work to do. Well, you still think we should tell Alec that Jamal is his son? Adam has to take me back. I, I can't imagine my life without him. Well, positive thinking is one way to go. Gloria, I just don't want to see you set yourself up for a major nosedive. Adam is a country unto himself. He demands total loyalty from his wives and his minions. You know, I will do whatever it takes to show Adam that I am his and only his. That Alec was the past completely. It's a piece of cake if you're sure you're over the guy. I can't stand the sight of him. You know, I had um, heard that you went to the ski cabin with Alec not too long ago. Not of, not of my own free will. Alec took me up there. He was hoping it would help rekindle the flame. Not even a spark? I've never hated anyone as much as I hate Alec McIntyre. What does it take to get through to you? I need to talk to you. To I need to talk to you, okay? Five minutes. Five minutes. That's all I'm asking. Haley? You don't mind if I talk to Gloria in private, do you? No, I mind. I mind. Whatever you have to say to me, you can say in front of Adam's daughter. Suppose Dixie came to you and asked to be made partners at uh, Orsini. That would depend. On what? On whether or not she had a recipe for wine that would put me on easy street. No, say she had a... Uh, a, a flair for the business and your profit soared, and much of your success could be directly attributed to her. I'd clone ten of her and play golf for the rest of my life. You make a joke out of everything. I do not. I take, I take money seriously, Palmer. I take people who make money for me very seriously. Let me tell you something. When Ted was still in town making trouble, Dixie made a surprise pitch to the board of Orsini to save his bacon. She blew her their socks off. I'd be proud to call Dixie my partner. Well, we come of a different age. In my day, a man would never allow his wife to work for him. Hey, well, see, your trouble is right there, PC. You got preposition trouble. Opal didn't say anything about working for you. She said she wanted to work with you. You know, make her fair contribution to the family coffers, be your, your equal partner in every way. Your trouble is you're a male chauvinist chicken. Now, don't get me wrong. I miss my love bug in every way. I mean, there may be snow on his roof, but there is definitely fire down below, and I'm not sure how much longer I can hold out. No, don't you dare back off of me. Well, that's easy for you to say. You got your honey bunny right there where you want him, but me and Palmer, we have had to fight and claw our way back to the holy estate of matrimony. It hasn't been all sweetness and light for me and Ted. No, I know that. I know that, but I'm just worried that if I, if I dig in my spurs now, you know, I might wreck everything. My old granny used to say stubbornness is stubborn dust. Stubborn? That's not what's going on. You're simply asking for what you, you deserve. Well, maybe. I just think about Palmer, you know. He had a dream, and he sunk every last dime into this place. And for who? For me and Petey. And now what? Is this the way I should repay him? You put Cluck Cluck Chicken Shack on the map. You are half the reason for its success. Aren't you entitled to half the glory? Opal, we got to thrash this out, get things settled once and for all. Well, I'm going to have to clear it with my uh, coach here first. I think Tad and I are going to slip on home and let you two just negotiate. Now you're talking. You two, keep your chins up, clean fight, you hear the bell, come out swinging. Come on. What do you want in your pizza? Anything but...
still haven't answered my question. Do you still think we should tell Alec that Jamal is his son? Can I come in? Of course. Feeling better? Much, much better. Shouldn't you be doing your homework? I couldn't keep my mind on it. I did something stupid, and on top of that, it was wrong. I see. It's okay if you want to change your mind about the adoption. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I thought we were clear on that after you took Alec's watch. But you gave me another chance, and I blew it. Alec was here just a little while ago. We know what happened. That he raked me over the coals, but good. What you did was wrong, and Alec has every right to be very angry with you. No excuses. Acted like a jerk. There's something about that guy that just fries me, though. It's like it's his world and we pay the rent. Still want me? Of course we do. We love you. We will always love you. But that doesn't mean that we're crazy about every single thing that you do. I hear you. I thought I'd blown it for sure this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to get rid of us that easy, pal. Better hurry up and make me legal before you chicken out. Well, Jamal, adoption, it takes a little time, a lot, lot more time than, say, a traffic ticket. How long? Well, the state has to ensure that your rights and, and the rights of your biological parents are protected. But Mom's dead. What about your dad? If it were doable, would you want to track him down? Mom never talked about him when she was clean. But this one time when she was high, she told me about how he dumped her because she was black. He treated her like dirt, yet she still loved him. I said I hated him, and she raised her hand and smacked me across the face, hard. Only time she ever laid a hand on me. So I started crying. Made me hate my old man even more, because she made me cry. But Jamal, what if your dad's still out there? Let him stay. He didn't care what happened to my mom or me. Why should I care what happens to him? We'll talk about this some more later on. Now listen, you run on home and get your homework finished, all right? OK, now. I'm sorry about Alec, but I'm glad you want to be my mom and dad. First time ever. I feel lucky. Uh, no, actually, I can't say what I have to in front of Haley. But hey, no offense, right? Bye, Alec. Gloria, five minutes. What is five minutes after everything we've been through? Five minutes more than I can spare. Come on, Gloria. Gloria. Listen, listen let to me. Go Won't you of just me. listen to me? I know that you hate my guts right now, but if you give me a second, I can change that. She said let go. Look, Haley, would you please go get security? Yeah, go get security. Please. Go on, go on. Okay. Okay. Just hear me out, all right? Do I have a choice? Okay. Okay. Now listen. I think I finally got it. Okay? I. I didn't understand why we self-destructed. I couldn't figure it out. I kept trying to think over and over again what went wrong. Why you suddenly hated me so much, and I couldn't figure it out. So I tried something different. I wiped it all out, and I, I, I tried to see myself the way you see me. I tried to think about all those things that you said to me up at the lodge, and all the things that you said to the investors that day at the Valley Inn. And all of a sudden, this ridiculous thought just occurred to me. You really think that I set you up. That about you, no, 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 no. You believe that, I, that you were nothing but a means to an end to me. And you... I, I, don't, I don't even know how to begin to tell you how absurd that is. Because nothing could be further from the truth. Nothing means as much to me as you do. Okay? All the money, all the prestige, all the power, all of that. Listen, I, I, can, have, I can have tons of all of that, but if I don't have you, I'm the poorest man I know. Lucky for you, you don't have to prove it. No, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. You're missing the point. I want to prove it. I realize that when you look at me right now, you're still seeing a user, a taker. 
But I, I, I want to change that, okay? If you give me a chance, I think that you can look at me and just see me. Forget it, Alan. You, wait. I would give up enchantment for you. I know you don't believe that, but I would. I would, I would walk away from that job. I would walk away from everything that I have worked for. I'll leave this town without a cent and without a regret as long as I've got you with me. Because you are all I need. I mean that. You are the only thing that I need. And all I want to do is spend the rest of my life trying to make you happy. And Gloria, if you just give me the chance, I know I can do it. Please, just give me the chance. Say that you will come away with me. Is that it? Is there something else? Because I have to go back to work. What do you mean, is that it? Did you hear what I said? Loud and clear. Well, what do you think, I'm kidding? I'm not kidding. Listen, I've got the inside track to the top spot at Enchantment. Okay, we're talking playing with the big boys here. Mega buck deals. Signed with my authority, sealed by my handshake. We're talking about the corporate penthouse in New York, Summers and Amagansett. Stock options, bonuses, jackpots, sky's the limit. And you know what? I don't give a damn. I don't care. I will walk away from all of that for you. Because loving you is the only thing that means anything at all. Now, what does that tell you? Tells me that you're desperate. It's a nice try. Glory, wait, wait. Listen. Look, if you ever grab me again, I'll call the police. I don't think you mean that. Try me. Nurse, is there a problem? Yes, there is. This man is bothering me. If you would please escort him out of the building. Okay. I'd scam. Let's not have any more trouble. No, no, no more trouble. No more trouble. No more trouble. We're not finished. Alex said that we would be making the biggest mistakes of our lives if we adopted Jamal. So what does that say about his fathering potential? On the upside, it might mean that Alec won't stand in the way of the adoption. He was so angry with it. Jamal, he just wanted to knock him into the middle of next week. Well, in all fairness to the man, he, he did steal his watch and he did destroy his property. And it's not difficult to imagine Jamal with a real bad attitude. I mean, he is a kid who is troubled. He has some special problems, and not everyone is equipped to deal with that. Well, let's just pray that Alec knows himself well enough that he will waive his rights. Does that mean we're going to tell him? My heart's not in it. But if Alec, if Charlie and Haley could find out that Jamal is Alec's son, then Alec could find out too. It's better to tell the truth. Live with the consequences. This will be resolved in our favor. And if it's not? Faith will move mountains. So, who do we tell first? Alec or Jamal? Oh, Tom. Jamal said this was the first time in his life that he